looks, that looks amazing for Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're back uh, again for our classic game streams, uh, Star Wars slash Holiday Edition. Uh, this time with Star Wars Death Star Battle. And this is weird because it Atari games are already abstract. Mm -hmm. So you can expect that. But this is kind of... This one's just... I don't even know really remember how to play it. Because I think what you're seeing here is this awesome perspective view of, I think, the shield. Right. Oh. The Death Star. Right, for Return of the Jedi. Yeah, for Return of the Jedi. And so you have, like, kind of the TIE Interceptors, which are the new ships for Return of the Jedi right. flying around. You got a Tidurium shuttle go by and stuff. So let's just see if we can stumble our way through this. But what's really cool about this, and, you know, you played as a snow speeder, which is my favorite vehicle in the Star Wars universe. Uh, but second to that for me is the Millennium Falcon, which is this vehicle here in this game. All right. That's a, that's a really <laughs> nice perspective. Uh, it is. It's a cool effect. Yeah. So I think, okay, so I'm shooting dudes, and let's see what I can do with, oh, don't touch the shield. Yeah, don't I'll run pass it over shield. to you. All right. We'll go back and forth. Give more time. Give <laughs> <laughs> more time. There's the, uh, <laughs> so you can see pieces of the Death Star coming together. It's kind of like uh, Return of the Jedi meets the Lego Star Wars movie, where uh, they're trying to build the Death Star to Legos. So those pieces are going in there to let you guess, know that uh, they're... Are we switching off, or is this two-player? Go ahead, keep going. It's not two-player. I should have ah, two-player. Jesus. Okay, I'll take it, because <laughs> this is not going well. Um, so, let's just see. I think you have to just kill enough guys, or... And then uh, that hole. Ah! Oh, the hole open, yeah. That's yeah. what I was waiting for, the hole open. Oh, wait, can I get through it if the shield's not... Ah! What? Oh, the Death Star is shooting. So oh, see it that shoots green? as well, yeah. Yeah, so it's shooting from over there. So. Oh, you see the little blanket? That's hard to see up there, because you're... That you're focused down below. That star is uh, operational. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, his name is? Ekito, Ekito. I love that you learned the entire language of the species. <laughs> oh, this game is last longer. There we go. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's, so that's now, pretty cool. That's awesome. Now we're attacking the Death Star, which is weird, I think. Oh, yeah, so it's like Breakout. Oh, just like the movie. Just like the movie. <laughs> oh. That yeah, thing will shoot, I think. Millennium Falcon is kind of a weird uh, vehicle in this one. It kind of feels a little... Oh. Oh. It's really hard to get... Oh, so the green dot is the thing I have the most. Oh. 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 So yeah, just ramming you. Yeah, there's like... Death oh, you're almost, you're almost in the center. Oh. 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 oh, it's still going. There you go. Oh. There you go. That was a little bit easier than now you have to what escape. Lando had to do, I think. Or do I? Yeah. Like, can I? Oh, do I go down? No. Right, there it goes. Like we're exploding. Yep. And then do it again. And now you have a square dish. <laughs> yeah. It's the new. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this one now has Finn in it. Now this is Star Killer yeah. Base. <laughs> Star Killer Base. Thirty years later. We should have played it in the proper order. We could have done the trench run Star Wars. Then Return of the Jedi, and then Star Killer Base. He doesn't know why we blow up half the time. I don't know why you do. The collision looks like so far away. Wait, you just, you just wait. Yeah. yeah. Well, it all makes sense. You just gotta play it, man. <laughs> yeah. In the moment, you feel it. You know what's going on. Not really. It's, it's kind of neat. They made this with the Atari 5200, the Atari 800, and some other machines, I think. Ow. Um, maybe the, no, I don't think the Commodore had it. Um, it is an original game by Parker Brothers, so it wasn't what? based well, off the I arcade game. I don't know game. why I blew up that thing. It's kind of neat. Yeah, it has some cool stuff going on. It's just, uh, it's tough. Mm -hmm. Multi-stage Atari game. Ah, Jesus. They were planning on, so they had this game, they had Jedi Battle or something, Power Arena or Jedi Arena, that's what it was. The Jedi Arena, which used the paddle controller, so it was you and Darth Vader, lightsaber battling. They had the Star Wars arcade game port for the Atari 2600. And they were planning on two other games. There was a Sarlacc Pit game they were making and an Ewok uh, adventure game they were making. And so those two never came out, but the Ewok game, that's where I was trying to find a prototype of that had kind of been released, a ROM of it. That was pretty interesting because, like, even even now after reading about it and everything, like I still don't know how to play it, but it was supposed to be playable. That would have been a fun one to get going on the stream. But the, amount, the sheer number of Star Wars games that were coming out for Atari it was pretty impressive. If you think about it. Do you know anything about the Ewok Adventure game? Like, what were you? You were like, I think you were flying around on those wings on Endor, and you were attacking like at ATSTs, the little chicken walkers. Right, right, right. Oh, jeez. 
I just keep thinking it'd be easy if I just do this. Okay, you're attacking the chicken walkers and stormtroopers and all that stuff, and it looked pretty cool. It was actually kind of nice looking. Parker Brothers games were, they weren't as clean as Activision, but they weren't as bad as like everybody else. Like Magic, <laughs> Magic was good, Parker mm -hmm. Brothers and Activision, there we go. And uh, oh, you can die from that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, so when you're in there, how are you actually eating away at the Death Scar? Because I, I was like kind of shooting at it, but it didn't seem to be like making. You do have to just shoot at, but you don't shoot too rapidly because your shot resets. It's like Gorf when you press the button, like your shot just starts okay. again. You only have one bullet that will return to your ship every time. You press right, the right, right. So it's one at a time. Right? Yeah. Norm wants the green screen suit. He's gonna try to be funny on the stream. <laughs> I just gotta save people from the pain, Norm. I was going to. Until you ruined it. Uh, yeah. Bill, we need a hyperspace background. Oh, yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah. It's not yeah. working. And a uh, Millennium Falcon push. cockpit overlay. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Yeah, so look, you'll just like, I'm just gonna do the chest. See the comb on the side there, like moving? Yeah, yeah, just yeah. Doing all that weird offset stuff. Ah! Offset stuff. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. The comb. It's really prominent in like Miss Pac-Man and stuff where they have a lot of moving objects. Activision was really good at hiding it. Yeah, so I think it was really, cared. it was really prominent on the last game because of the bright colors on the screen. Yeah. Was, like, most screens are very, very black. There's ways you could hide it and uh and people got really good at it. Yeah, so here it's not too obvious. I mean, you can yeah, see in space, that's why like you do any game in space, you're like, good black, yeah, yeah. it's not gonna show up. Ooh, there's that sound. Atari just had some cool sounds. Alright, one more go at it, and then I think we'll we'll move on to the next game. Well, uh, I think our next game is going to be on Super Nintendo, which will go into the Super Star Wars. We're going to make a big jump. Yeah, we're going to make a big jump. We're going to jump over a whole bunch of Star Wars history in gaming. I wish we could have uh, streamed the Star Wars arcade game. I guess I have it on GameCube. Well, we get X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter up in the Oh, see, that would have been awesome. <laughs> Do some multi-screens, but, uh, multiplayer screens. Yeah, well, I think uh, one more. I'm gonna die one more time here. Huh? That's it. So it's one of those things too, where you're like, when is the uh, force field gonna open up? You're like, just time. <laughs> just wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's Star Wars Death Star battle. You've seen everything kind of that it has to offer, but again, like very impressive. Looking for an Atari, a game that was a system that was built to just do pong variants. Mm -hmm. So pretty cool. Yeah, it looks really good. I actually really like the force field. It's neat. It's really, really cool. All right, see you on the flip side.